Effective communication is perhaps the biggest challenge facing virtual teams. Can remote teams be as efficient as co-located teams in the absence of face-to-face -face communication? Certainly, as long as team members have quick and flexible access to information and each other, and can follow predictable standards regarding the flow of information, they can be just as successful. The nature of a virtual team mandates that effective communication is key to success. Virtual teams are faced with two main communication challenges. The first is the way they deliver messages. A good rule of thumb is to let the purpose of the message determine the tool used. That is, sending information in an appropriate format. The second challenge is that communication can easily lead to misunderstandings. Members must be able to judge the meaning of the message, read between the lines of an email, and judge someone's tone of voice during a teleconference. This is especially important when getting or giving feedback to team members. No one likes to be left in the dark, so set rules about the expected speed of response for texts, emails, or phone calls. Make it clear how often you expect team members to check their messages and what time of day you'll normally communicate. Equally important are rules about acknowledging the receipt of messages and showing that the message is understood. This predictability creates trust and confidence between teammates. You need to provide guidance about which communication tools to use and when. The tool must fit the message's intent. Things like when to make a phone call, send an email, or use the message board. Use email to schedule meetings. If a message is long or nuanced, pick up the phone. It allows for immediate clarification. Text or use instant messaging with anything that can be answered easily and quickly. Want everyone's input? Use video conferencing for creative brainstorming sessions, to strategize as a team, or for team milestone meetings. Provide guidelines for emails and chat programs, too. Encourage your team to use subject lines that convey the main point of the email to avoid miscommunication and establish threads. Create standards for response time, confidentiality, tone, and message archiving. For chat programs like IM, tell them when it's okay to use them, whether they should keep records of the messages, acceptable subject matter, and how to follow up. As a manager, you need frequent contact with everyone on the team to make sure you're all on the same page. Create a plan outlining the method, style, and frequency for staying in touch with your team members and share it with everyone. Check in daily via informal email exchanges or schedule a more formal team phone call once a week as best fits the needs of the work. Regular one-on-one -on -one meetings via video conference work well for updating team members, maintaining rapport, and aligning priorities individually. Few things interrupt your workflow more than your team contacting you at all hours for updates. Be proactive and send messages to let them know when you're not available or to update them on the project status. Technology enables constant communication, but establishing the right method of communication for the message is vital for effective communication.